so this is a model horse review on the new Briar 2013 model. Um, Tortalis, or Tortillas, I really don't know how you pronounce it. But, um, and don't worry if you don't either, because no one uh, that I know of in that's collecting Briars knows his his, the correct pronunciation of his name. But anyway, I have so much to say about this model. I'm This video is going to go on kind of long, and I apologize for that, because I absolutely adore this model. I This is just my opinion, too. I know other people might not agree with me, but this is just my whole opinion on on this new model. Personally, I think it is amazing, though. Uh, it's it like when you first when I first saw it I was like oh it's it's just like the Celtic mold the Briar Celtic mold and I was well I I was still gonna get him because I was like oh he's awesome already looking on him at him online but um I like this I'm not a big fan of the Celtic mold at all but I absolutely love this guy he is so gorgeous just the just the mold alone especially since this this is on he's since he is a just like in a flat black he doesn't have any shading but like just the mold alone is so stunning like I can't wait to see what ha what happens when Briar actually puts out models in a um in like bays or whatever color that are actually going to be like shaded because it is really really beautiful I'm going to go over the bad points real quickly first uh like I kind of mentioned Flat black, no shading. Um, not really surprised by that though by Briar right now because that's just how they've been doing their um, black horse models. It's not very often that they do black horses with brown shading. But still, despite that, like I said, he is really pretty. He has a couple shiny marks, but they're not too bad. Um, uh, another bad thing is he isn't. He actually, actually, I'm really surprised that he actually does stand okay, because he has one of these um, plastic little stands, just like um, Huckleberry Bay and um, Celtic. But he actually stands really well. He is not toppled over for me yet. Like he, he does a pretty good job of standing. I'm, I'm really happy about that. He, he's doing great for me. I'm glad he's standing just fine. So. Um, kind of a bad point I'm mean, that's not I might not be on everyone's models because I know like sometimes some of my Huckleberry Bay molds some of my models um some of them they stand up really well other ones they fall over really easily but I was lucky enough that this one at least anyway it stands really well so what I really like about this mold is there is so much like detail and definition muscle definition in it and I'm just really, really impressed that Briar is coming out with such really great models, in my opinion. I think they're just fabulous. Um, what I really, really like about him is um, the definition in his shoulder, on his neck. He has subtle, it's like not too defined, but just enough of um, like ripples in his neck. And um, he has actually really nice mus uh, muscle definition in his um, for, uh, forearm right here. And on the other side, see really pretty, um, you can kind of see it, the ripples in, along his neck and the d definition in his shoulder and he has some nice definition in his chest also. And he also has um, like the little vein lines that you see, um, you actually see these in um, some of Peter Stone's models but like not usually in Briar. It's not necessarily, it's not necessarily actually um, the vein right here. It's more like the, um, uh, like the, kind of like the brisket on the horse sort of showing, like, not exactly, but like, just like the skin being like, well, I don't know, I guess it is kind of like a vein thing, but it's like, um, it's realistic though. I mean, it's just, it's really nice. I, I just love this mold. It's just amazing. But my favorite part is his face, actually. I don't, I personally, the Celtic, um, Cerno mold, I hate the face on that one for some reason. Like, his face bothers me every time I look at it. I'm like, I just don't like it. That's me personally. I'm just not a fan of that mold again. But, um, this one, his face is the just amazing. There is a lot of definition on the sides of it here. And, um, behind the cheek at the um, throat latch, like, there's, like, muscle and, like, skin ripples. It's like, I know it's not exactly what it is, but that's what I call it. Um... 
along there it's so pretty more like definition and his nostrils are actually like flared like he's taking like a in like a deep breath like they're actually like defined and deep and just gorgeous oh my gosh and his mouth too is really pretty and like underneath his head too if you look underneath his head you can't tell too well yeah, even underneath his head where you don't really even see it it's like got definition and tone and it's beautiful and his ears his ears are really cute and they actually have like a little bit of like um in the mold like a little bit like they actually have like hair inside of them it is that detailed and his eyes even though these eyes are just like plain black with the gloss on them and little eye whites they're expressive. I don't know if you can tell too. You can't tell as well, but you can see like his eyes are actually expressive like above his eyes like Because horses they don't have eyebrows, but they are still can be really expressive in the uh, Muscle and skin above their eyes and it just totally captures that it is so amazing to me and Another thing is um, his mane is braided and normally I don't really care for braided manes on a model, but this, yeah, I think is really nicely done. The braids are actually, like, bigger, because sometimes I see, like, see the braids were, like, really tiny, and it's kind of, like, on, I don't know. I just don't care for it, but these ones are, like, bitter, bigger, um, like, braids on his mane, and it's really nice. His tail, <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me, I still have a cold, um... His tail is really nice. Is really neat. I love his tail. It's gorgeous. It's got this like it's really flowing. It's really detailed. There's actually like a couple small parts in it where it's like I don't know for just like didn't get finished or didn't come out right in the mold. There's just like one part here and one part here where it's not really like it's not haired you could say, but the rest of it is and it's like it's really pretty. I like this tail a lot. It's it's really nice. And, um, oh yeah, and here's, his, he's got, um, kind of like grayish chestnuts, um, four white socks, I forgot to mention his markings. Uh, he has a snip on his nose, right there, a little pink snip, and a little star on his face. Sorry, the camera's not focusing. Okay, so, uh, I don't want to, like, go on forever about him, but I love him. I absolutely adore this model. I'm actually, like, really tempted to go out and buy another one just to, like, I don't know why I want another one already, but, um, if I had money, I would get another one, but I don't, so, but, um, I love this guy so much, he is just gorgeous, he is amazing, I don't know how else to put it, he is just absolutely incredible, um, yeah, I honestly just, I am so impressed with, um, Briar's new molds, I just, don't even know what to say because I, I don't know I'm surprised I guess because it seems like for a while Briar hasn't been doing a whole lot of new molds but um, lately in the past uh, year or so I just feel like Briar has been taking a really good step in the right direction here and giving us these beautiful molds like that like like this one and um, the Marwari and the Gypsy Vanner it is just awesome um, and, um, so yeah, that's pretty much my review. Uh, I would totally recommend him. Uh, he's fairly cheap, too. I got mine for 40 which in my opinion is not too expensive compared to some of the other newer briars. Especially some of them where I look at them and I'm like, mmm, that's not worth that much money. But this one, he is totally worth it, in my opinion. He's, uh, would be a great show model for halter or performance. Uh, I mean, I'm probably going to show mine. Uh, I have a couple breeds I already th I'm already thinking of to show him as. He is just, just great. And so, yeah, and if you want to see some um, pictures of him, I'm going to be um, posting pictures of him on my Facebook page. So you can uh, click on the link in the, dis in the description, and there will be um, a picture uh, album there with um, pictures of him because I love him so much I just had to pick, take lots of pictures of him so yeah um, I'm just gonna answer this question too in case someone asks um, no he will not be in Crystal Sins uh, for two reasons uh, one reason I just don't really have a character for him I wish I did because um, I love him but uh, another reason is I'm gonna try and keep him show quality right now 
too so I can show him and stuff and I don't like risking um, like to risk uh, taking models out and filming them if I'm going to be showing them. So yeah, um, that's everything. Uh, I actually have several more model horse uh, reviews that will be coming out with very soon. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it.